Hey everybody, Bob here with Making Stuff, and in this video, I am excited to announce I have finally finished the self balancing scooter or the Segway clone. Yes, it's finished and I can ride on it. I did have a few little setbacks, some back ordered parts. Uh, this project took a little bit longer to do than what I had planned, but it is finished. So let me uh, show you a few things I've added to it since the last video and then we'll ride it around. Okay, so here's the 3D printed kill switch that I made. And I've got the lid open here so I can show you how it works. This is just a regular standard limit switch. And here there's two holes with a captured nut behind it. So the lid goes on top here, the screws go through there, it holds the switch and the lid in place. So I'm just going to hold it here, line everything up, show you how it works. So here's my 3D printed key. It, it's really not a key. Anything you can stick in the slot would work. But the, the idea is when you push this in, it pushes the lever down and it enables a switch. So if uh, this key comes out, it'll kill uh, the power to the Segway. And this is modeled after uh, boats and jet skis and things like that. So you would, you would put a string or a cord uh, here and attach it to yourself. So if you fall off, it's going to pull that out. Okay, so here's the kill switch with the uh, case on there and everything hooked up and ready to go. And for the testing purposes, I've got my key here with a little alligator clip on there. And it just slides in there. And then I'll just hook the other end here, just clip it on my belt or something like that. So that way if I fall off, this will just come flying out and the Segway will stop. Here's another thing that I've added uh, to the Segway. And it's this high amp solenoid right here. Uh, it's called a solenoid, but all it is is a relay. It's rated at uh, really high amps. I believe this one is rated at 85 amps. Uh, so it can handle everything that uh, this Segway is going to dish out. Um, you don't want to use something that's not rated for uh, the amperage that your motors and your controller can handle because what will happen is if it gets too hot, the contacts in your relay could stick and uh, be stuck on. Uh, this has happened to me on other applications before when I've had uh, one of these high amp relays. Um, I actually had one hooked up to a hydraulic uh, system here at the house and it pulled about 190 amps and it locked this sucker up and then when we turned the switch off the hydraulics kept running because the solenoid was closed. So definitely don't use an automotive relay or anything like that. Uh, you want to use something that's rated a lot higher than what you can handle. And this uh, motor controller that I'm using will handle 60 amps. I believe the motors, uh, they've got a stall current of about 20 amps. So uh, definitely make sure you've got the right relay. Okay, so here's the final uh, control panel for the Segway. You notice here I've got three missing, or I've got three holes and there's nothing in them. Um, the original, or the first version of software that I used had uh, potentiometer settings where you could adjust the PID uh, and play with it. And that software just, it just didn't work for me. I had a lot of problems, a lot of frustration, and uh, finally uh, somebody suggested that I try their software on, that they had used on their Segway and it was working a lot better so I tried it on mine and it works uh, so the controls that I've got on uh, the, the handlebar now it's a potentiometer for gain this controls your speed uh, how fast the Segway will react to changes in movement now I added a tilt indicator I'll come to, back to that here in a minute I've also got an LED for run that lets me know that it's ready to run. I've got a uh, kill switch here uh, in addition to the uh, uh, kill cord. And then uh, the switch, you can either kill it or run it. And then this is the main power switch, which uh, turns all the power on and off to everything 
uh, through that uh, solenoid, that high amp relay that I've got. So the way that it works is I turn on the Segway and give it a second to boot. Okay, now the tilt light comes on. Now what this is telling me is the Segway's not level and we don't want this thing coming on and taking off with this because we've got it pulled back or pushed forward. So this will not do anything until uh, we get it out of tilt mode. So the way we do this is we flip it into run, then I'm gonna pull back on the subway just a little bit, and when it levels, okay, you can see the tilt light went out and the run light came on. And what's, what it's doing now is it's, it's in run mode. So if I pull back, you can hear the motors. If I push forward, it, it's responding now. Now, if I hit the kill switch, it goes back into that initial uh, boot state. So it, it's, it's kind of in a standby mode. It's not running. So if I flip it into run, it's not level. So I've got to go through that same process again. And, and again, this is a, it's a safety. It's so if, when you hit this switch here down to run, it doesn't take off with you. And that's something that I've added into the software. Okay, so here's the top on the Segway, and this is just some eighth inch uh, tread plate, and I just put some Rust-Oleum uh, truck bed spray on there. Uh, it's a little bit tougher than uh, regular paint. I figured if I'm gonna be standing on this, uh, probably want something that uh, is gonna hold up a little better than just regular old paint. It also has a texture to it, which will help uh, with the uh, like your, when your shoes are on there, the rubber will grab that a little better than a slick surface. So uh, I've got this thing ready to go. Let's uh, haul it outside and ride off into the sunset on this project. So there you have it, there's the uh, finished Segway. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is if I was going to do this over again, I'd probably try to get uh, a different type of motor. I used wheelchair motors because it was easy and they were donated uh, so I didn't have any cost in them. Uh, your motors are probably going to be one of your biggest costs in a project like this. But uh, the drawback with the uh, wheelchair motors you're not going to set any uh, land speed records uh, riding this thing around. It's going to have a top speed of an electric wheelchair. And uh, although it does work, uh, there's been times where I've been riding this around wishing I had a little bit more power. But uh, this was a good learning experience. I'll probably be doing a lot of improvements uh, to this project. So uh, who knows, there might be some, some more videos uh, hot riding this thing and adding some accessories to it. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up on the YouTube there. Uh, that lets me know what you guys are interested in and what type of videos to be making. And also, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And thanks for watching.